All right, can you tell me your name and hometown and occupation? My name's Lon Reedburn. I'm a homegrown Clark Knight, you could say in that. My occupation is I'm an insurance agent. Um, Lon, you weren't always an insurance agent. No, I wasn't. Uh, I was a carpenter um, years ago. And, and what prompted the change of careers? Well, I had to change my career because I had a slight accident. I had a hunting accident. Uh, how long ago was that? November 22nd, 1982. You say that like you remember it pretty clearly. Oh, it's hard to forget that day. What? Uh, deer season. I've hunted deer all my life. I hunted avidly. I, I, I hunted an awful lot. Um, I left that morning, and when I left that morning, I got up, got in my pickup, and my neighbor right next door said, well, he'd like to go deer hunting too. And we both had deer license, so um, I said, well, just jump in with me, and I, let's go, and let's uh, see what we can find. So we drove around. First, we drove up be north of Clark here and that. Um, my father-in-law had some land up there, and we went out on the land, and uh, I walked out there, and a buck come across, and I, I had just shot a very nice buck. Uh, it was a trophy buck. And the partner that was with me, the deer didn't go by him, so we just, um, he didn't get a shot. So we took my deer, hung it up in uh, what should be the farm out there, and I said, well, now, now we got to get yours. So um, we drove south of Clark here and uh, went down the road. And as we were going down the road, three deer jumped across right in front of the pickup. I stopped the pickup right in the middle of the road. Um, the deer run across my side, then run across the passenger side. And as they run across to the passenger side and went in the ditch, my hunting partner, he rolled his window down, and I stopped the pickup, opened the door, and I got out on my side. Because I had got the binoculars out, and I was going to take a look and watch the deer and pick out the nice one. Well, as he rolled the window down, he was um, put the gun out the window to shoot, which we're not supposed to do. And uh, as he was reaching out the window to shoot, the deer kind of veered off a little bit, and he couldn't get a good shot at him. So, in all this excitement, um, he had. Uh, we found out later he had locked the door and couldn't get out. And so he seen my door was open, so he went the scoot across the seat and I was standing right outside the door looking with the binoculars and as he screwed it across the seat he got to the steering wheel and the excitement of the deer running and that um, he lifted his gun up to point it out to get out the door and as he did that like I said we had hunted some deer before that the safety was off and um, as he went across under the steering wheel uh, the gun went off uh, the bullet hit me right above the kneecap in the right leg. It uh, went through my right leg, busted my big bone up above the knee, and it went through my left leg and cut that bone in half too. So it went through both legs, but it angled just enough to where at, when they did the surgery and that, the bullet was lodged in my kneecap. So the, the next thing I remember is just waking up and I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I was laying in the ditch. I, I, I didn't know what happened. The concussion from the gun, I was just, I, I, I was dazed. Um, he did, my partner did come out and he was pretty upset. He, he had known what had happened and it seemed like minutes, but in a few seconds I knew what had happened too. Uh, I laid in the ditch and um, he, um, came over to me and tried all he could to uh, muster up enough to, to keep himself going too because uh, he got sick and he, he was going to pass out. Sure. <laughs> I wasn't in too good a shape. Yeah. Really. But um, he, he talked and he just says, I'll get you in the pickup. He says, and um, we'll get you in there and we'll do the, he says, I'm sorry, but you know, all this was immaterial and that. Um, the only thing that I can tell you is uh, uh, I had on hunting clothes and when I looked down in between my legs, uh, I could see 
where the where the bullet went through my right leg and then come out on the inside, mm -hmm. it pushed the bone out through the side of my uh, clothes too. And that was hard to see. Sure. And I, like I say, he, um, we both were kind of didn't know what to do. And, but um, um, I felt like that I wasn't going to probably make it. At that time, um, we, we did get up and he helped me up. And I, I don't know if it was determination or what, what, what it was in that, but he did um, get me into the pickup. We opened the door and he put me in the pickup and he kept wanting to shut the door and he kept shutting and shutting and shutting and we couldn't get the door shut on the pickup. And that, that's the only thing I could, I, I remember kind of vividly to the day is, and I told him, I says, well, my leg's in the door. And we couldn't, I couldn't feel it. And he was excited and that. And uh, I lifted him because when I was sitting straight, my leg was hanging out. So we grabbed onto my leg and pushed it in and uh, went to town. And as we went into town and that, um, I told him, I said, I, I don't think I'm going to make it. I says, it's, I says, it's looks, it looks like it's going to be a serious deal. I did get into the clinic here in town right away. They took me in and um, they wouldn't do nothing. They put me in an ambulance and took me on to Watertown in which the emergency room, they took me in and uh, they said, they told my wife that we'll take the right leg off. And that was hard. But um, they flew me on to Sioux Falls from there. They said that when I get there, that expect the worst, because you are, you're, 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 you're shot. But when I got there, how ironic can it be um, when they brought me in the emergency room and the guy says, um, he says, you're from Clark. And I says, yep. He says, well, it was a well-known doctor and he was from Clark and he happened to be on call. And he looked at me and he says, um, deer hunting? And I said, yep. He says, well, he says, um, let's see what we can do. So at that point, when they put me under, I expected to come out with missing one leg. Mm -hmm. But um, when I did wake up, or when I come out of surgery, I, he, it was a little pain. And I looked, and I had both legs. And the guy said, uh, the doctor come in and says, I put them, he says, I pulled them all back together. I pulled the bones back together. He says, um, you're a lucky man. He says, you should have bled to death in two minutes right there. He says, you should have. He says, you didn't. He said, the, being the bone cut in half and then have the other bone cut, he says, I don't know how. But he says, um, feel lucky. Well, I didn't feel so lucky. But he um, says, we're going to try and see if we can put weights and pulleys on and drill pins through and pull your bone back together and have it heal. We're not going to put a plate in. We're not going to do any pinning. We're going to do the, we're going to, we want it to heal up. But he says it's going to be a long time. So that was on the 22nd. And I laid on my back in the hospital in Sioux Falls for four and a half months, in which I didn't move. Um, a lot of surgeries and a lot of hopes and prayers. Mm -hmm. And it, um, it worked out. I haven't picked up a rifle since. And it's sad because I love deer hunting. Oh, I love deer hunting. My partner loves deer hunting too. They put it in. He hasn't picked up a gun since. Uh, I feel sorry for him. I, I, I really do. Um, it was an accident. But it could have been avoided. You know, that, that's the part that it could have been avoided. We had the time. We had the time to open that door and get out and hunt the right way. We had the time. And we didn't. We got buck fever. We got excited. We did everything wrong. We did everything that we shouldn't have done. And um, by some grace of God in that, um, I'm still here. I'm fishing that. I... I would love to get back to the deer hunting. I, I tried it once and that, 
Um, after the first shot in that, I noticed, I, I, I flinged and I looked around and I walked away. I just, um, there's, there's still a memory there that it, it's tough, but um, yeah, it's, uh, that they call them accidents and, and, and it was just, it was an accident, but it was a, an accident that it cost me one year um, I was on crutches, I was in walkers, I was in wheelchairs for it was just one that put an end to my career as a, as a carpenter. It put an end to everything. My whole life and my family's life got put on hold for one year. One year just just because we didn't hunt right. You know, don't don't do that. Don't get in a pickup. Don't chase deer down. Don't don't shoot out of the window in that. There's reasons that we have these laws. There, there's reasons. It isn't because it's some, you got people making the laws, making it tough on us. It's for our safety. It, that could have been avoided. Today, I'm 59 years old, and um, I'm going back in because I'm going to have a knee surgery because I got a knee, that's one knee that's completely, and I'm going to have to have a second one. Arthritis is a, is a big factor in that, but... For that one split second there, that one split second, I'm going to pay the rest of my life, and my family paid for it too. And it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Get out and hunt the right way. And it, it, it's fun. It's fun to get out and walk and do it the right way. Don't do it the wrong way. Don't do it the way I did. Get out of the truck!